Did you feel that? Not exactly, but you did hear it and see it. Those are two of the different ways that we can sense the world around us. But what if I told you there was a sixth sense that some animals actually had to help them feel the world around them? One of those animals is the shark. They have a special organ on the tip of their snout called the ampullae of Lorenzini. This was discovered about 300 years ago by an Italian scientist named Lorenzini. What he discovered was that on the tip of the shark's snout, there are little pores. And these little pores are jelly-filled canals that actually sense electricity in the world around them. Now, everything we have in our body is controlled by electricity. Our brain sends electricity to our nerves to make us move. There's even a pacemaker inside of our heart that will actually tell your heart how fast to beat. Movements as well, like snapping your fingers or a fish breathing, will actually send off an electrical current as well. Very, very small electrical currents can be sensed by the ampullae of Lorenzini. These jelly-filled pores right here can actually sense the electrical fields that you or I or any fish in the water is giving off. Now this helps them find out if something's behind them, maybe sneaking up on them. It helps them to find fish underneath them. It can even sense a heartbeat, yours and mine, separately in the water if we were both scuba diving with a shark. That's how smart they are because of this organ. If you've ever heard of a shark attack, which doesn't really happen that often, maybe about a hundred per year, um, they always say the best defense is to punch it in the nose. Well, a shark doesn't really have a nose, but they do have the ampullae of Lorenzini. The ampullae of Lorenzini are so sensitive to electrical impulses that would be able to be sensed by a shark. So if you punched a shark in the nose, That's how disorienting it is to a shark. It kind of looks like a little tube with a jelly-filled sac at the bottom. Now these have nerves that go to the shark's brain. Here's our water right here. And if an electrical signal enters right here, see that it travels down this canal and then through the nerves to the brain, telling the shark what's happening. This organ tells it anything from how fast something is moving to what direction it's moving um, and actually will help the shark eat and know what is prey and what is not prey, which is a reason that there are so few shark attacks that end in fatalities. Sharks that actually end up killing human beings are usually sick or confused. This organ helps them not eat us. They can actually sense what we would probably be like if they took a bite. Now we're very bony. We have way too many bones and not enough meat on us. So they wouldn't want to go anywhere near us. They know we taste bad because of that right there. So next time you think about sharks being very dangerous, think of them instead about having a sixth sense. Sharks are very smart, and that's why they're not as dangerous as the news tells you. As a final little treat, I'm going to show you how to use the ampullae of Lorenzini to actually hypnotize a shark, though I would not suggest doing it yourself. Go.
it, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Mr. L, and thanks for coming to my TED Talk.